Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India In the last class, we looked at variation of certain uh, key parameters of the atmosphere on the net static lift of an LTA system and we could not complete all the 9 factors. There were 3 factors remaining. So, we take those 3 factors today one by one and then we will look at some simple tutorial problems so that the concepts can register in your mind. So, The effect of variation of these 6 parameters, the inflation fraction which represents the ratio of the lifting gas inside the envelope upon the total envelope volume. The inflation fraction changes when the airship gains or loses altitude because the ambient temperature and pressure will change and with that there is a direct link between the inflation fraction. The atmospheric pressure comes directly in the numerator of the net static lift calculation. So, when P s changes there will be a change in the inflation fraction also and also in the uh, lift. Super pressure essentially uh, represents the pressure in the envelope which is more than the atmospheric to maintain the shape. This also we saw you can model it as a change in pressure or change in super pressure the formula are very similar. Ambient temperature can change either slowly allowing the thermal equilibrium to happen between the uh, outside uh, air and the inside uh, system. In that case we saw that there is no net static lift gain, but if we, uh, if we do a rapid change in ambient temperature then the system does not get time to respond and hence there is a change in the uh, static lift. Superheat is the heating of the envelope beyond the atmospheric temperature due to the radiation that acts on the envelope. We saw that it can be modeled as an increase in temperature and uh, today we look at the remaining 3 factors, 2 factors and then we look at the effect of that on the lifting gas uh, uh, volume of the air. So, relative humidity uh, is the next, but before we start I thought let us brush up a few things. So, we will do a few problems that will try to explain the concepts to us more clearly. So, <coughs> the airship has 80 percent inflation fraction at ISA sea level condition and it is flown to the altitude of 1000 meters ISA. Okay. So, do the numerical yourself and see if you get the answers which are mentioned below. First is you fly it to a height of 1000 meters above mean sea level. How will you estimate the ambient pressure at 1000 meters above mean sea level? These are ISA conditions. So, under ISA conditions the temperature at sea level is 288 degrees Kelvin and the pressure is 101325 Pascals. How do you get the temperature and pressure at the height of 1000 meters ISA? Okay, let us do it one by one. So, can somebody answer this question? First of all, how do you go about calculating this effect? So, 90.2 percent. Okay. So, how did you do it? You calculated the temperature at 1000 meters by subtracting 6.5 degrees from 288 and then you got the pressure using P by P naught or delta is equal to T by T naught to the power 5 point correct. 
and then in the formula I2 by I1 is equal to P2 by P1 T1 by T2 you have just put uh, the same the, the effect of pressure only okay. Now let us look at the impact of temperature alone. How much is that? This is to be done in the same way. Seventy eight point two percent, correct? And now let us look at the effect of both of them. So you just multiply the two factors that you got. So 90.2 percent is just the pressure, 78.2 just the temperature and 88.2 which is actually 0 0.902 into 0 0.782 into 0 0.8 that is the effect. So we notice that because of pressure the inflation fraction increases, because of temperature it decreases and the net effect is an increase. So both of them work in the opposite direction. Okay. Another problem, now the airship is considered to be 10,000 meter cube envelope volume and we subject it to gradual increase in temperature from 20 degrees centigrade to 30 degrees centigrade and it is operating at sea level. The question is find the change in the gross lift that is delta Lg, the weight of the balloon air change in the balloon air volume and change in the net static lift. So we are looking at changes in the gross lift weight of the balloon air net lift and the air volume of the air in the balloon. So how what is the formula for change in the gross lift because of slow increase in temperature. Do you recall the formula? So the ambient air pressure PS will remain the same. So basically gross lift is equal to the ambient air pressure into K into V upon T, correct? That is the simple formula if you neglect the effect of lifting gas purity, it is just, it is just uh, the pressure into K into volume upon the temperature. So temperature is now becoming from A1 to A2, so therefore the delta gross lift will be the same ambient pressure P s which is prevalent into 1 upon T A 1 minus 1 upon T A 1 upon T A 2 minus 1 upon T A 1 into K into V. So V is 10,000 meter cube. So T 2 is 272 uh, you know 288, 288 plus 30. T1 is 288, 288 plus 20. Yes, yes, yes. I am just adding to the, yeah. So 288 by 160 is the sea level value, but here there is no question of sea level. You are given the value. So you just uh, 273 plus whatever number is given. So 293.16 and 303.16, the value of K which is the constant is 0 0.03416 and the pressure at sea level is 101325. So please calculate the number and tell me what is the change in the gross lift and also please tell me whether that change is positive or negative. 
by heating by heating the lifting gas are you going to get a positive or a negative change in the gross lift it should be negative if not nothing wrong it should be negative uh, the gross static lift is going to decrease if you heat if you heat the uh, <coughs> or if the ambient temperature increases but the same cannot be said for the net static lift okay now the weight of the balloon air so what about now there is a 10 degree constant superheat okay that means the envelope has now got a temperature 10 degrees higher than ambient because of the superheat the temperature of the gas inside is 10 degrees higher than atmospheric because of superheat now the weight of the balloon air is also given by the same expression ps into k into v divided by t but now t will be the temperature plus the superheat so it will become 303 plus 10 and 293 plus 10 everything else remaining the same So the numerical value which was minus 3893 earlier it will come down or I should say there will be a positive addition to that so it will become less negative. So what is the balloon air weight change delta V delta delta W B A minus 3649. Yeah, that seems reasonable minus 3649 Newtons. Okay. Now let us look at the net change in the static lift. This will be the net change in the gross lift minus net change in the static lift. So earlier you got minus 3893, now you got minus 3649. So the difference between them is the change in the net static lift. Be careful about the signs. So will the net static lift increase or decrease? Increase or decrease? Why should it increase? But so the, the decrease in lift is how much? 3898. 3898. Okay. So L n will be uh -huh. so so delta G delta L G is minus 38, and from that you minus no minus minus of that. Correct. So it will decrease by around 248 or 49 newtons. So the net lift has decreased, gross lift has decreased by a lot, but now balloon air has also been has, has also been uh, taken out. So the net lift is only 248 newtons reduced. Okay. And then what will be the weight of the balloon air? This is very simple. You know the you know the balloon air mass you can use the density of the air at sea level conditions to calculate the value so what is the what is the volume occupied by the balloon ah but be careful you must have maybe you have ignored one aspect that the density of the balloon air will not remain same as sea level because there is a temperature change. So if the density of the balloon air is considered to be the same, so 
the the density of the balloon air is basically the pressure which is 101325 into uh, the value k value upon the new temperature which is 28298.2 plus 10 degrees so there will be a change in the density of the balloon air so what is the density of the balloon air from 1.2256 it is going to change because of temperature what density do you get for the balloon air it will be p that is 101325 into k divided by the new t which is 10 degree higher due to superheat 1.1.16 okay i am getting 1.14 something yeah 1.1 1.1454 is what i am getting so what is the temperature you have taken in your calculations in the in the denominator ha huh, so how much is it 31 so it is earlier it was 298.2 plus 10 no look the temperature was 293 right and it became 303 so what will you take will you take 293 or will you take this one but why will you take that because that is only when it attains that temperature so why not take the mean of the two So if you are waiting and if you are saying I wait, I wait till the whole system equalizes and the temperature conveys to the gas inside, then you can say okay the temperature has become uh, so. So one can either take uh, the mean temperature or one can take the maximum temperature. So you take the maximum temperature. So if that is the case, what is going to be the volume? what is that more than the volume of the gas of the envelope of the 10,000 is the volume of the whole envelope dear how can the balloon be 10,700 first thing is please check the units because the the value of uh, balloon air weight balloon air is in newtons and if you use density it is kg per meter cube so be careful about units first of all so there is a change in the balloon air weight of 3645 newtons so first you convert that into kilograms if you want to work in kg per meter cube So the volume of the balloon air is going to be the uh, change in the balloon air weight divided by rho into g. How much is that? Yes, correct. That seems notable. Is it positive or is it negative? But is it positive or negative? 329. Is it plus or minus? Negative. That means the balloon air the balloon air is going to expel the air that is expected na? when you have superheat and when you are heating the body you expect that the balloon air will be uh, throwing out the throwing out the air okay so there are numbers here for you 